just get the run around. Wham bam, Kapow, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry, and these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mask, trap that bad guy, Al Capone. Well, hello there, Tom. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. Beast in the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. Chicago. A young man from one of Chicago's poorest neighborhoods, Rocky Moreno, became a hero to young and old alike when he became the world boxing champion. A new contender for the world championship was about to emerge from a final eliminator that had Chicago boxing fans all fired up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tino Barati live at the Mozzarella Cheese Garden. And with me is Bill Boring. Thanks, Tino. This will be an incredible fight, ladies and gentlemen. The final eliminator to see who will fight local champ Rocky Moreno for the world championship here in Chicago. Hey there. That's absolutely right, Bill. Now tell me, who do you think is favorite in this fight? Well, given his superior reach and professional stature, you'd have to say that Cat Canero was the favorite. Although his opponent, Rat Radier, boasts an incredible record with a series of amazing knockout victories all against the odds. <laughs> Rat Radier is sponsored by Chicago's very own Al Catone, one of our leading citizens who happens to be with us in the audience tonight. Okay, fight fans, let's get ready to rumble. And there goes the bell for round one, radio listeners. The fighters have hurled themselves into the center of the ring, ready for anything. This is shaping up to be one heck of a great fight. Ha! Ah, what a fix. I can tell because I've been a boxer myself. Let's huh? wait and see, Gordon. We're only ten seconds into the fight. Gordon's right. And as Catone owns one of those fighters, it shouldn't be any surprise if the fight's been rigged, Wilson. Round one, Bill. Which of these fighters would be a worthy opponent for Rocky Moreno? Well, Cat Canera seems to hold a solid position in the center of the ring, but Rat Rat here is quite light on his feet and his punches are fast. Huh? Some of them are real fast, although they lack a bit of precision. career have I seen such a disgraceful fight. Such an obvious mix. It was, uh, 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 what I meant to say was, what a tremendous fight. A great fight. Rat Rat here caught the cat with a magnificent right cross. Yes, a re fight fans, a great challenger for Rocky Moreno's crown. Told you, didn't I? Those guys were faking it right from round one. Anything Capone's mixed up in smells like rotten cheese, Gordon. Aye, but as always, there's no evidence to prove it. Well, as you all know, I detest boxing as a sport anyway, so I'm delighted this one only lasted 47.3 seconds. Yeah, well, it would have been over even quicker if I'd been in there. Ha! Huh. Don't you think you're a bit out of shape, Gordon? Huh? Me? Well, your body weight has increased 16% since we've been here. Mainly due to the Cheese Paris famous cocktails, right? I may have put on a few ounces, but I'm just out of training. I could lose it again in a few days. Well, if you want to go to a gym, I could recommend one. Oh, you could? Uh, is it good? Belongs to my friend, Frank Mouselegan, the guy who discovered Rocky Moreno. Hiya, boss. What do you think of my punch? Terrific, huh? I'd rather not discuss that. Well, gee, I hope I didn't hurt Cat Canera too much. Nah, he's doing just great. Yeah, he's counting all that money we gave him to fortify. 
So you didn't think much of my performance. Well, let's say it wasn't very convincing. But I gave him everything I had, boss. I gave him my super demolition blow like whammo, see? Super demolition blow, whammo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, funny guys, you want to find out what my punches are really like? Yes, yeah, oh, stop wow. him and sell me. Oh, yeah, he's getting mad and I'm real scared. Please don't hurt us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. We got business to see, too. Sorry, Senior Catone, but that guy's prancing was just too much. That works in our favor. No one will think this clown can beat Rocky Moreno, so everyone will bet against him. Everyone except us, that is. <laughs> yeah, boss, I'm gonna flatten Rocky Moreno and win the world championship. Well, of course you're going to win. Have all the arrangements been made, Nitty? Well, senor, not yet. You see, um... What? Well, uh, I'm sorry, senor Catone. It ain't my fault this time. I've done all I can. I offered Rocky Moreno and his trainer money to lose the fight, but they just won't do it. Well, offer them even more money, dummy. I want this thing seen to right away. I tried that, boss, but it just won't work. These are the kind of idiots who pride themselves on being honest. Well, then we shall just have to use other methods to make them accept. Gotcha, Senior Catone. I'll pay him a visit tomorrow. Yeah. Huh? I am sorry for the interruption, but if you will please allow me a few minutes of your time. My name is Hal Capibara. I come to offer you my services. I don't like being interrupted by cheese balls. Get him out of here. Sure, right away, boss. You're making a mistake, gentlemen. Wait a minute, I can explain. I... Ah! Uh! Oh, you fools, you are stupid a fool. What do you think, Frank? Could you do something with my friend Gordon here? Of course I can. It'll be an honor to train an untouchable. I see he can do with the exercise. Oh, I don't really need it. I just came here to loosen up. All right, whatever you say. Now go and get changed so when the other guys get here, you can swap a few punches with them. What? You don't mean you expect me to start right away. Hey, listen, you gotta train hard if you want to turn some of this flab here into some muscle. <laughs> I can see I'm leaving you in good hands, Gordon, so I'll pick you up later. Flab? It's not flab, it's just relaxed muscle. I don't really know. Thanks, Frank. I owe you one. Boy, remember us? You're wasting your time. We'll never accept money to take a dive. Now just leave me alone. Huh? Leave me alone, I tell huh? you. Ah! What? What do you think now, Fred? Oh. You thinking of changing your mind, maybe? No, ah. I'll never change my mind. I ain't scared of you huh? or your friends. Well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? Go ahead, Scalise. Shake him my friend huh? down! Ah. The Untouchables! Ah. Ah. Don't worry, Nitty. I'll take care of him. Yeah, this yeah. guy's all on his own. That's right, I'm all on my own, but I'm more than a match for you two, for Lucas. Hey, you! <laughs> yeah. Out for the count. Huh. Why, you... Uh, try and stop this. What, you mean like this? <laughs> now it's your turn, Nitty, you dirty rat. Come on. Show your faces here again! Hey, you all right, Frank? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Huh? Ah! So you didn't get enough, huh? Come back to seconds, right? Just who I am, mister, and what have you done to Frank? Hold it, Rocky, he's a friend. Who did you say? Fine, but give me the lowdown, Frank. What's been going on? Gordon here helped me out of a tight spot with Catone's gangsters. They weren't offering us money this time. They were threatening us. Is Al Catone putting the heat on you? Yeah, Catone wants Rocky to lose the world title against that lowlife rat ratier. Hmm, very interesting. Elliot should hear about this. Okay, guys, come with me. I think we can do something to help. Okay, guys, club's closed so we can get in some serious practice. We got a special guest coming down here, right? Yeah, that's right. Huh? Hey, Jim, is that him? That's him, Thelonious. That there is Rocky Moreno himself. Rocky, you showed a lot of guts standing up to Catone, but... Hello, boys. Wow! But I'm concerned for your safety. We learned the hard way Catone doesn't make empty threats. Elliot's right. You gotta give in to the man, or he's gonna take his revenge sooner or later. Well, these big mouths don't scare me, miss. I reckon I can take care of myself. Well, you certainly seem to have the right weapons for the job, Rocky. We all know the strength of your fists, Rocky, but they're not gonna be good enough this time around. Elliot's right! A 
a sportsman like yourself has little chance of winning a showdown with those gangsters, eh? They're killers. I think you better leave it to us this time, Rocky. We know how to handle Al Catone and his henchmen. Voila, monsieur. Speciality of the house. Cocktail cheese Paris. Now that's just what I need. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot, but I really can't have one. I'm following a specially balanced diet. I'm gasping for one. <laughs> ah. No, you yeah, no, don't. You're not even huh? going to drink one of those things, Gordon. Yeah, but yeah, Frank, come me? on. As of this morning, you're a member of my gym, so you have to follow my instructions to the letter. You got that? The first and biggest rule is no mixed cheese cocktails. No cocktails? Hey, wait a minute. I think I got an idea that might just work. Tell me, Frank, do you think that Gordon could step into the ring and beat Rat Rattier? Why, sure he could, Elliot. Even Miss Deborah could beat Rat Rattia. You said it. I've had to deal with a lot tougher guys in my time. I bet you Gordon could do it. Boy, he sure hits hard. What's the plan, Elliot? What are you thinking? If we challenge Rat Rattia to box against Gordon, we could prove to everyone that he's nothing but a fake. I get it. And we also divert Katorn's attention from Rocky to us. That's exactly right, Jack. And if they don't agree to fight Gordon, Rat Radier and Al Catone will look bad in the eyes of the fight-going public. Rocky could refuse to fight for the world title unless Radier agrees to fight Gordon first. They cancel the fight. Great idea, Elliot. I can make sure the press boys hear all about it. So, uh, this means I'm gonna have to fight Rat Radier after all, huh? What's wrong, Gordon? You said the man was a fake. Or have you changed your mind now? It's not the fight, Jack. It's the training and no cheese cocktails. Let me ask you, Deborah. Would you back brains over brawn? What do you say? Oh, sure, you're right, Elliot. Ah. Ah. This is my opportunity. Those untouchables have put us in a real tight spot this time. So let's turn down the challenge. Don't you see what they're doing? Ah. If we don't accept those coppers will tell everyone the other fight was fixed. Giving Rocky Moreno the perfect excuse not to have to fight Rat Radia for the World Championship. Now have you got it? And if we should accept the fight... <sighs> accept the fight, boss. Accept it. And I'll destroy this guy in the link of an eye. I'll pulverize him. Huh? Show this moron, Scalise. Sure, boss. Happy to apply. <laughs> Excuse me, do you perhaps have a phone I could use? We do. It's right ah. there, sir. Hey, what happened? Did I say something? Don't you get it, Lane there? Brain? You only ever won because we paid off your opponents. But we can't buy Gordon, and he sure packs a punch. Yeah, this is Rat Nitty speaking. Who's calling? Uh, my name is Hao Capibara. We meet at the Mozzarella Cheese Garden, and I have the solution to your problem. Oh, yeah? Well, how do you know we got a problem, Big Mouth? I read the papers. Put me on to Mr. Caton. Who is it? That foreigner we threw off the other day wants to help us with the fight, Senior Caton. All right, give me the phone. It's our Caton speaking. I hope you're not wasting my time, friend. Nothing is further from my mind, Mr. Caton, but I can make sure your boxer wins that fight against the agent. Oh, yeah? Yes, it's an ancient secret. He's from my country. Ah, I'm interested. Come to my suite and we'll discuss the matter. I think we may have a solution. Nitty, call a press conference. We're going to accept the challenge of those unteachables. Extra, extra! Rat Radier accepts untouchables challenge! Gordon's in training! Extra! The fight's in a week! Give me a paper! Hey, come on, Gordon, faster! Your last mile was far too slow! I can't go on. That's all right, Gordon. I'll lend you a hand. Time for rations. Good, keep it up. How's our Gordon doing, Frank? Oh, fine. He'll knock the stuffing out of Rat Ratty tomorrow. You just wait. Yeah, well, I sure hope that you're right about that, Frank. There's just one thing. Don't you think that, well, he accepted hmm. too easily? I agree with you, Wilson. Something sure smells cheesy. I wonder what game Catone's playing. Well, don't worry. We'll all keep our eyes peeled. Then he won't be able to try anything. Everything will...
Anything to say to the press, Mr. Carton? You bet I do. I was under no obligation to accept this unscheduled fight, but I wanted to demonstrate to the city of Chicago that I'm honest. I got nothing to hide, and I resent the police harassment I'm continually receiving from Elliot Mouse and his undesirables, always trying to put a stain on my character. Now you will see that I'm a fair man, a man who would never cheat the citizens of Chicago, and a man who loves nothing better than a fair fight. Katoon can't stop running off at the mouth. Well, we'll see how talkative that blabbermouth is once Gordon has won this fight. Okay, but you all gotta keep your eyes open. What have you got to say about the fight with Cat Canera? There are rumors flying around that you had him paid off. Just ugly rumors. Tell me, do you think an agent of the Untouchables like this Gordon could be bought? No, of course not. No way. So then you can make your own mind up once the fight is over. Now remember, you only gotta hit him once and that foreigner will take care of the rest. Just avoid his punches, see? Seen anything strange, Jack? Hey. Not apart from the Ooh. dancing that chicken's yeah. doing again. Come on, ah, ah. come on, you rat! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 oh. uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. What the... Look out, Tommy! <laughs> One, uh, two... I don't uh, understand three, it. It's impossible. Four, uh, five, uh, six, uh, seven... Hey, uh, Gordon! Eight, uh, nine, uh, ten... Yep. The winner! No! <laughs> let me get a look at those gloves. Yeah, yeah let him have yeah, a ref. Yeah, I don't see yeah. why he shouldn't have a souvenir. <laughs> it would seem our federal friends here don't like losing. I don't like it. Gordon's not coming round. We'd better get him over to the hospital, Elliot. I'll go see if I can organize a stretcher for him. Thank you, gentlemen. I don't think after this display there can be any reason for delaying the world title fight. Hey, look, guys, he's coming round. How do you feel, Gordon? How are you? My head's throbbing like a drum. What happened? Ready or not, you cold, Gordon. Say what? Baloney! He never laid a glove on me. It's some trick. I knew it, double crosses. They won't get away with it. I've got Rat Ratty's gloves. I'll analyze them, go over them to see if there's anything there that shouldn't be. Good afternoon. I see he's woken up at last. Hey, Doc, any idea what would make Gordon drop like a sack of cheese? I'm afraid not. In the x-rays, there's not even a sign of a simple concussion. Wait a minute. So what happened then? Well, we're still waiting for the blood test. I hope to have them in a few days. And in the meantime, will I have to stay in here? No, you can go, but take it easy for a few days. Want to get up, Gordon? I feel kind of dizzy. I need to eat. Got any cheese on you? Yeah, yeah. Found anything yet, Wilson? No, sorry, Elliot. I pulled apart the gloves to test the filling, but found nothing unusual, and my reactive testing can't detect the presence of chloroform or other such substances either. There must be something, Wilson. Catone stopped threatening Rocky Moreno. If he doesn't need him to take a fall, he must be sure he can beat him some other way. However they do it, watch out. It sure gives you a terrible headache. We haven't got much time to find out. The championship's tonight. Elliot Mouse speaking. Oh, good afternoon, Doctor. I have received the results of your friend's blood test from the lab. We've detected strong traces of a narcotic derived from curare. I understand, Doc. Yes, thank you. This information's been extremely valuable to us. Well, that's part of the mystery solved. According to the Doc, Gordon wasn't knocked out. He was drugged by a powerful narcotic derived from curare. Great, but how did they give it to him? You no, know, Jack, but it's something we've got to find out as soon as possible if we don't want Rocky Moreno to suffer the same fate. Ah, uh, hmm, let's see. Kiwari's used in blowpipe darts. On fight night, I saw a guy in a white suit put a walking stick to his lips. Do you think you'd be able to recognize that man again? Of course, Elliot. You know I have a photographic memory. Okay, let's not waste any more time. we got to stop him before he pulls the same stunt tonight. Now, here's what we got to do. 
Welcome to another exciting fight night, folks. The mozzarella cheese garden is absolutely packed. And once again, we have my old friend Tito Barani with us to comment on what could be the fight of the century. That's right, Bill. Do you think Brat Radier's victory over Agent Gordon would make him the favorite in this fight? And do you think this crowd here is going to get behind him? I don't think so, Tino. Rocky Moreno's Cheese Cargo's favorite son, and everyone here has their money on him to win. Cheese Cola! And here comes the champion now, and the crowd goes wild! Cheese Cola! Well, the place is really fine. He's thousands here! It's gonna be hard finding one guy in such an enormous crowd. Don't worry, a blowpipe can't shoot very far, so our man has to be close to the ring. The day's finally arrived, Senior Catone. We're gonna win the world championship and make a few million cheese dollars in the process. I hope so, Nitty. I don't want any mistakes tonight, and I don't just mean by that capybara guy. You understand what I'm saying? With the preliminaries now over, the fight's about to begin. Here we go for the first round. Both boxers yeah. being very cagey. And Rat Rat here's doing his usual trick of keeping his distance. Yeah. 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 There he is. It's the guy in the white suit. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Job for you, Bill. Do it quietly. I don't want to scare these people. Right, don't get him, Bill. What's happening? I don't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. The referee, he, he's falling down. It's the Untouchables! Come here! Uh, 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 those morons get messed up my friends again, Nitty! I hate them! Now it's just you and me, Ratty. Uh, no, 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 no! No, no, get away from me! Get away from me! No, no! No! Hold it, tough guy. We got a little unfinished business to take care of. <laughs> now that's what I call a knockout. Never thought I'd find you in the world. Rocky Moreno is my friend, and I wouldn't want to have to face him in the ring. So you're not thinking of becoming a professional fighter then, huh? No, I'm not even thinking of becoming an amateur fighter. Too many sacrifices. Now, if you'll excuse me. Just one moment, Agent Gordon. Well, my friends, thanks to you, we've had another success. Hey, I'm off the diet. Wait for uh. me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, you two big lugs, how did you solve this case in the end? With your heads or with your fists? Well, you could say it was a combination of the two. But most especially with courage. The courage demonstrated by my friends, the untouchable. So is it courage or strength which is more important to you? Huh? Modesty. Modesty? Modesty? Here's to you, champ. So, once again, Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables were able to thwart the plans of Al Catone. Though there wasn't enough evidence for jail, he had his boxing license revoked. I hate the Untouchables! Rita Mouseworth, movie star, brings a touch of mousy wood to Cheese Cago. With her, though, comes trouble. Bushy Seagull-type trouble. Turning on the tears, she drives poor Elliot cheese crackers. As Gordon is swept along by stardom, it's left to Elliot to deal the knockout blow. Can Deborah overcome her jealousy, or will Bushy erase the cause of it? For the answer to this triple decker cheese pack sandwich, take a bite at the next episode of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables. <laughs>